Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another meal prep video. In today's video for breakfast prep, I'm gonna be making some very easy smoothie packs, and then for lunch, it's gonna be pizza chicken. I also have some snacks to put together and just one dinner kit this week. It's a journey. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Personal Points program, but I also share calories on my channel as well. I would love to have you as part of the family by clicking the subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. So I'm gonna be meal prepping for my husband and I. I'm actually gonna be doing something different for my husband's breakfast. I'm gonna throw together some overnight oats for him because he doesn't have a way to do the smoothies at work to actually blend them. So I'm gonna do his different. As always, all the recipes will be linked down in the description box below, and I also try to link the items that I use in the meal prep, like my meal prep containers and just anything that you see me using in the meal prep, look down below and I'll try to link those for you as well. So let's get started with this week's prep. Alright, so the first thing I'm doing is getting my fruits and vegetables ready, so I guess I'm kind of starting with my snacks this week because I want to get all the fruits washed. So the first thing I did is took my spring mix here and I'm just transferring it to this container because I've mentioned before these containers are amazing they keep the fruits and vegetables so much longer so for this one I have the vents in the closed position since that's vegetables and I'm going to be using some of the fruits and vegetables for my breakfast that's kind of why I'm starting first with these so now what I'm going to do I thought maybe these would fit in there but I don't think they're all going to fit so what I'm going to do is just put some of them in there and get them washed and then the rest of them I'll just put in my fridge and then I'll wash those later in the week. So all I'm going to do is just take this over to my sink. I'm going to just let it sit in some vinegar water. I use one part vinegar to four parts water and then I'll just get those washed real well and then I'll take them off the vine too. All right, so I ended up washing it all because once I took it off the vine, it was really fitting a lot in there. So one thing with fruit is always make sure to try and dry it the best you can because if it's wet, it can make it go bad quicker. So the drier it is, the longer it will stay fresh. So the rest of them I'll just put in here and we'll just snack on these throughout the day today. And then since it's fruit, I'm gonna open the vents. And then my other fruits I have are kiwi and banana, so I don't have to do anything with those. Those are all ready. I don't have a cantaloupe to cut up this week, so that is all the prep work for my fruit. So now I'm moving on to my vegetables, and I'm just peeling and cutting up some carrots. I just really like to have carrots in my fridge, and I also take them to work with me as well. So I'm peeling those. I keep my scraps, I've mentioned before, I keep my scraps in a bag and put them in my freezer so I can use those the next time that I make a bone broth. So now I'm just cutting up the carrots, and then I'm going to put these ones in a mason jar and these will just sit in my fridge for snacking throughout the week. And then for the rest of them, I'm gonna put them in these little containers and these I will take to work with me. So now I'm filling up the mason jar with some water and that just stays in my fridge that way. Cutting up the rest of the carrots, I'm gonna actually peel a couple more because I like to have about three of these to just pull out of my fridge and bring to work with me. And then usually what I do with those is add some hummus to those as well. So this week I'm using red pepper hummus. This is a big container that I got from Sam's Club. So just stir that together to get the red pepper all mixed in there. And then I add about two tablespoons of the hummus to each one. So this ends up being a two point snack for me, but I get a point back earned from the carrots. And then I also picked up some classic hummus, which is in individual uh, packages here. I originally was gonna use those for work, but I decided to use them with these carrots for us to have at night. These I thought were two tablespoon servings and they're not, they're like two and a half ounces. So they're five points or 180 calories. So I figured these would be good for my husband and I. We can just share one and have them with the carrots at night. And then the other ones I'll take to work. So next I'm gonna be putting together just some little cottage cheese dishes. I'm just gonna put a half a cup of the good culture cottage cheese in each one. For a half a cup, it's 80 calories and two points. You can actually Actually have three quarters of a cup for the two points I just like to have those in my fridge so I can just pull one out if I want you know kind of like a little bit of a protein snack or if I have a day that I didn't get a breakfast in I didn't have time for breakfast these are great I just throw a little bit of fruit in there and have it for just a little small breakfast 
The next thing I'm going to do is portion out some nuts. I just like to have these in my cabinet. These are five points for one ounce or 170 calories. And in these, they have a mix of cashews, almonds, pecans, pistachios, and hazelnuts. So I just portion out little half ounce portions of these. For one ounce, it's 28 grams. So I usually just put about 14 grams into each container. So I just use these little containers that get from the Dollar Tree. You get like 10 of them for a dollar. And I just portion out about half an ounce in there. I just do as many as I can. And then these sit in my cabinet. And then that way, when I just want a quick snack, I can pull them out and I know exactly how much is in there. So that is pretty much all my snacks for the week. And then I also have some cheese. I have this string cheese that's one point, or sorry, two points for one. And then if you have two of them, it's three points. And then they're 50 calories for each one. And then I also have these Baby Bell cheeses. I love these. And for these ones, they are three points and 70 calories. So that is all I'm doing for my snacks this week. So this just makes it real simple for me to just grab something, kind of grab and go type snacks. And it just makes it nice because it's it's all portioned out I know exactly how much I'm having so one other thing is I don't eat all this every single day these are just things that I have available throughout the week for breakfast this week I'm actually doing something a little bit different normally I make the same thing for me and the same thing for my husband but this week I'm gonna be doing smoothie packs so what I'm gonna be doing is just taking some smoothie ingredients putting them in the bags and then putting them in the freezer. So they're just gonna kind of be pre-prepped for each day. But for my husband, he doesn't have a way to blend smoothies at work, so I'm gonna make him just some real quick overnight oats. So I'm gonna do birthday cake overnight oats for him. So for this one, I'm gonna start out with a half a cup of oats, and I'm just using these Quaker oats, quick one minute oats. Now you can do either a half a cup or a third a cup. I have some recipes that just use a third of a cup. It's totally up to you. For us, the points come out to three points on these. We do count our oats. And also, they're about 233 calories. However, I'm going to be adding an extra 35 calories and at zero points. It won't add any points. I'm going to use one scoop of these this collagen peptides protein. One scoop of this is 10 grams of protein. So that's just going to add a little bit more protein for him that day because the protein in the oats is only about seven grams and we like to have a little bit more than that for breakfast next i usually use the monk fruit golden which is kind of the equivalent of brown sugar but i'm all out of that so i'm just going to use this classic and i'm just going to use one teaspoon of it Next, I'm gonna add in between a half a tablespoon and a tablespoon of chia seeds. For a half, half a tablespoon, it's zero points, and then it becomes one point if you use one tablespoon. So I'm just gonna use maybe like three quarters. And one thing I recommend is if you don't use chia seeds, I would back off on the amount of milk you use because these really thicken it up. Next, I'm gonna add half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. You can use almond milk, cashew milk, any kind of unsweetened nut milk, or if you wanted to use skim milk, you can do that as well. And then I'm gonna carefully stir that up. You don't wanna stir vigorously, you just wanna stir it enough that everything's mixed in. I'm gonna be giving it another stir here in a minute, I just wanna get those dry ingredients all mixed in there. Okay, next I'm gonna add some maple syrup. So if you wanna use sugar-free syrup, definitely do that. In fact, the recipe calls for sugar-free syrup. I like to use the monk fruit syrup. In my recipe, it has Maple Grove Farm sugar-free, but I've been using the monk fruit maple syrup, and that is so good. It's by Lacanto, but I'm all out. So for my husband, I'm just gonna use some regular maple syrup, and I think I'll just do probably about a half a tablespoon. And I'm gonna add some cake batter extract. This I get at Amazon, I get it, my local Walmart has it as well. So as always, all the items that you see, I try to link down below, things like this, or my meal prep containers, anything like that I try and list links to down below. So I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of that in each one. I'm gonna do a little more you can. This really gives it a cake flavor. And then give it one final stir. And as you can see, that changes the color of it. It's got kind of like a yellow color to it. And now I'm just gonna add some sprinkles to it. And that is my husband's birthday cake overnight oats. So now I'm just gonna set those aside and then I'm gonna work on 
my smoothie packs. Okay, so now I'm moving on to my smoothie packs. So <laughs> I don't think I've ever shared any smoothie recipes on my channel. I'm actually working on some. I'm hoping to put together a video that's just about different smoothies, but I usually prefer to eat my fruit. A lot of you know that I do have ulcerative colitis, so I have some issues with my gut health and I try to listen to my body and there are times where, especially if I've been eating a lot of fruit, then I have to kind of back off a little. But one thing I've learned in the last year is that I don't have to completely stop eating them. I just have to break them down some so that they are easier to digest. So by having them in smoothies and just sipping them throughout the day, or I should say throughout the morning, that really does help. So I'm gonna be putting together some smoothie packs and that way I can make these at work. So I was going through my cabinets the other day and I came across a blender that my son and daughter-in-law got me last year for Christmas and I've never used it. This is a portable blender that doesn't have to be plugged in. You charge it with a USB cord and then you just charge it on the go and you use it without it being plugged in. So this is going to be great for me at work. I did a video showing some kitchen gadgets. I think that video might already be up. If not, it will be up shortly after this one. So watch out, keep an eye out for that. So that's what I'm going to be taking to work to make these. So what I'm going to do is put the fruit and the vegetables in these little packs. There are some things that are not going to go in the packs right now. I'll add those the day that I blend them. In here, I have one tablespoon of these chia seeds. And then I also have one scoop of the Vital Proteins collagen peptides. So I'm going to add that to it the day that I have it. So I just put it in these little containers. I actually get these. These are from when I get Home Chef delivered. I just save the containers and use them. So that will be, I'm just going to make three. I was going to make four, but I think just three is going to be good enough. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is bring some honey. So I just put it again in a container and I'm just going to do a total of one tablespoon for the three days. So I'll have about a teaspoon of honey in each one. So if you would prefer, you can use maple syrup, you can use uh, sugar for anything, sugar free, whatever you want. The good thing with these is they're so versatile. You just throw in whatever you want into them. And also the other thing I'm not going to be adding right now is the almond milk. So I picked these up at uh, Sam's Club. They came in a box of six and in each one of these is four cups. So that's going to be perfect because I usually use about a cup, maybe a little bit more in each smoothie. So that's going to be the perfect amount. I'll just add that the day that I have them. Obviously I won't put that in the pack. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my greens in there. So you can use whatever greens you want. You can use spinach. If I buy just spinach, then I tend not to eat it all. So I'm just going to use some mixed greens. Normally I don't freeze my greens, but since this is only going to be frozen for a couple days, I'm fine with it. And it's going to be going right into a smoothie. I'm, it's not like I'm going to be eating it. I would not recommend freezing greens and then trying to eat them because they will get really watered down. So I'm just adding a handful. Next, I'm going to put some banana in there here. I have some frozen bananas that, when my bananas get ripe, overripe, I just freeze them. And then that way they are great for smoothies. I have two bags here, so I'll just split the bags up amongst these three containers. Next, I'm going to toss some blueberries in there. And these bags are, i got to really watch. I don't want to fill these because it's going to be way too much to put in the blender. I just want to put a little bit in each one. I want probably about one and a half cups of fruit in each one and then maybe one cup of the greens. And then the pineapple I usually just put maybe like three pieces in there. Next I'm going to take some ginger and then I'm just going to put a little bit of ginger in each one. And then for the ginger, I just throw this in my freezer. You just freeze it like this, and then that way you can break off however much you want when you go to have it. All right, next I'm gonna take my kiwi, and just, I'm not gonna bother, I'm just gonna use a knife to kind of peel the skin off. You can use a spoon and just scoop it out too, but sometimes this is just as easy. And I think that's all I'm gonna use, just one for the three of them. So I'm just going to cut it up into a little bit smaller pieces. Smaller pieces for the, since I'm using a small blender. 
All right, and the other thing I want to add is some PB2. So I probably should have just mixed this in with the protein powder, but I think this is going to be okay putting it in here. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon. And that is just going to go in the freezer like that. I'm going to pull one out each day. Actually, probably what I'll do, we have a freezer at work, so I'll probably just take all three of these to work with me, and that way they're already at work. Everything's there, and I don't have to worry about remembering to grab one each day. So just try to get as much air out as you can. All right, and then those will go in my freezer just like that. So those are my smoothie packs. As of right now, I don't have the points and calories. I have not put them in. Like I said, when I do smoothies, it's usually because I'm having some issues with fruit and I don't pay attention to, fruit, to calories and points when I'm starting to go into a flare. I just do what I need to do to take care of my gut health. So I'll have the points and calories up by the time I post this video. Okay, one last thing I did with the fruit is I cut up a bunch of kiwi and that way I'll have these for smoothies down the road. So I had cut them up today individually, but this way it's in there like this and the next time I go to make some smoothie packs, then I can just pull a little bit out of this bag. So I wanna add a little clip in here to show how I'm actually putting these together and making them. I wanna show you basically what the smoothie looks like when it's done since I am only, show, only showed you the prep part. So I'm at work on this particular day and I'm just adding all those frozen ingredients. I take a knife and just kind of poked it down in there just to break it up a little bit. Now I'm adding my powder and my chia seeds. Sorry about this video quality. I'm holding my phone with one hand while I'm trying to do everything else. Then I'm gonna add the unsweetened almond milk and I'm just gonna pour it in there until I get to that max line that's in there. I think that I end up using probably around a cup. I do add a little bit. So this is where it's charging. I have it just plugged into my laptop. It's just a little USB charger that just hooks right on there and that charges the top part, which is the actual blender part. So this doesn't have a great big blender piece in there. So that's why I said you kind of have to make sure some of the pieces of the fruit are small so that it doesn't take so much. So then you're just gonna shake it up like this and I'm gonna be quiet talking so you can hear what it sounds like. So that's how it works. You shake it while it's blending and that kind of helps to distribute it evenly. So this is definitely not a high powered blender. Uh, so you want to take care with it, but and also it shuts off after about 30 seconds unless you shut it off. So if it shuts off, you kind of sometimes have to put it back on again, but this is what it looks like. It comes out so good. This was perfect. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you follow WW for Weight Watchers, when you track a smoothie, your fruit is not zero. They do have you track it. So when you go to my website, it's going to have it in there that it's a smoothie, so it's going to be extra points. But whether you count it or not, whatever works for you, you do you. For me personally, I do not count the points because I work them into my calories because I track calories as well. And then here's my maple syrup if I want that. So those are my smoothies for the week. For lunch this week, we're going to be making pizza chicken, and I'm going to be serving it with some broccoli. So I make a pizza meatloaf that I have on my website and I was scrolling through social media and I came across a recipe for pizza chicken that looks so good and so simple to make. It was a re recipe I saw posted from Meal Prep on Fleek, so I will make sure to link their original recipe down in the description box. I'm doing some modifications with it, so the points and calories for mine are gonna be a little bit different. It came out to four points for us, and if you're counting calories, 251 calories, that's based on the information I have here. So I put one and a half pounds of chicken breast. I'm not weighing ours because ours is zero points. And then I did Bertoli traditional marinara sauce, three quarters of a cup of that, polio part skim mozzarella, six ounces of that, and 24 slices of Hormel turkey pepperoni. And that's where the points came out to four and 251 calories. I don't have any part, paleo part skin mozzarella. So I'm just gonna use what I have on hand because I don't want this to go to waste. So I have some mozzarella here and some Munster. I'll put the Munster on my husband's and then I'll use the mozzarella. So I'm just gonna put the slices on there. And then I did have the Hormel turkey pepperoni.
So I'm going to be using these boneless, skinless chicken breasts. The original recipe calls for cooking, baking it in the oven, just baking the chicken breast with the marinara and everything right in the oven, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to cook the chicken breast in the Instant Pot, and then I'm going to just top everything, the turkey pepperoni and everything on it, and that's going to cook up in the microwave the day that we have it. So I'm not going to be doing all the baking and everything with that. So the way that I'm going to be making this, this has, I want six of them because I'm going to be making six portions, three for me, three for my husband. This bag has eight of them, so I'm just going to go ahead and cook up this whole bag and I'll just use the other chicken for just to top on salads or something. So when I do them in my Instant Pot, I put in one cup of water and one cup of broth because I'm making so many. Usually if I'm not making that many, I just do one cup. But I'm going to be using some bone broth, so I make my own homemade bone broth. So this is one cup. What I'm going to do though is put this in the microwave and melt it down because if I put this in the Instant Pot like this, it's going to take a lot longer for the Instant Pot to come up to pressure. So while that's in the microwave, now I'm going to just add some seasoning to the water just for the chicken. I'm just going to use the salt-free seasoning and then I'm going to put in some ground turmeric. I'll just sprinkle a little bit of the turmeric in there. I'm just going to dump the chicken in there frozen. And then I just kind of like to try to stir it up a little bit just to get some of that the seasonings on each chicken. Okay, then I'm just going to add that broth to the top. Now I'm going to put this guy on there, my steam diverter. So I'm going to do this for a little bit less than I usually do today. I'm going to do pressure cook, and I'm just going to do it for seven minutes. Usually I do chicken for eight. I'm just going to do it for seven because I'm going to be putting this in a pan and kind of giving it a little bit of a sear afterwards, and I don't want it to overcook. So I'm going to let that cook for seven, and then I'm going to let it naturally release for about nine. All right, so my chicken is done. So now I'm just gonna pull it out of there and I'm gonna just pan sear it for just a minute or two just to give it a little bit of a sear. All right, while that chicken is cooking, now I'm gonna cook my broccoli. I'm gonna cook the broccoli right in the Instant Pot as well. So I've got that all washed. I've got about a cup of water down in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna put this right in there. It's like a steamer basket. And then I'm just going to pressure cook that for one minute. And then after the minute, it's going to get a quick release because you don't want to keep cooking it. So one thing you'll notice on this chicken, it has a yellowish color. That's because of the turmeric. Right, now I'm going to take it off the burner. So I've removed it from the burner and I think what I'm going to do is just add my sauce and pepperoni and cheese while it's in the pan. So I'm going to have to keep six of them in here. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll put a couple of them together. That one and this piece, I'm going to kind of act like those are one and I'll let my husband have those ones. They're kind of bigger, a little bit thicker. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to take my three quarters of a cup of marinara, and I don't even think I'm going to use that much. I'm just going to put it right over the chicken. Oh yeah, I guess it is going to use it. Now, I'm kind of debating I was going to put the pepperoni on first, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the cheese. And then we're going to have four slices of pepperoni on each one. Okay, so the broccoli just got done, so now I'm going to release the pressure. We don't let this naturally release at all because it will keep cooking the broccoli and it'll end up mush. I'm going to get my meal prep containers ready. I'm going to use my single compartment ones 
and then one double compartment one only because I only have five of the single compartments and I think I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of basil leaves over the chicken as well I thought about popping that under the broiler just to kind of get the pepperoni cooking but my husband and I both decided that we're just gonna leave the chicken the way it is because I'm afraid if I pop it under the broiler it's just gonna cook it too much especially with us heating it through the week so it'll be fine like that I started putting this one in that back one but I think it's gonna fit better in there so I'll put my husband's up here and then I'll just add some basil and finally I'm gonna add my broccoli Oh, this is going to be such a good lunch. And if you're wanting to know how much broccoli I use, this was a bag that we got from Sam's Club. So I'm not even sure. I think it's like two pounds of broccoli. That's how much I cooked. Now I think I'm going to add some of this seasoning that I used for the chicken. I'm going to add some of this into the broccoli. But sometimes we'll squirt a little bit of lemon juice on the broccoli and sometimes a little bit of Parmesan as well. Let me get one with the mozzarella since that's what the recipe says. So that's going to be our lunch. So I cannot wait to have these. So for me on WW, this is only going to be a four point lunch because my broccoli is zero and then it's four points for the pizza chicken. Alright, just one dinner kit to do this week, so if you're new to my channel, I do DIY dinner kits. I'll link a video down below that goes into detail of how I do that. But this one is just one. The other things that we're having this week, there's really no prepping to do. So we're doing mozzarella stuffed pork chops. Those are 6 points and 170 calories, and we're going to be having it with ranch cauliflower, which is 2 points, and I put a question mark, but it's about 98 calories. So in the bottom of my bag, I just have all my cauliflower. I haven't washed it yet. I'll wash it the night that we have it. I have a green onion in there. And then I also have the ranch sauce. This is just two ounces of light sour cream mixed with a teaspoon of the powdered ranch seasoning, like the Hidden Valley Ranch. And then for my pork chops, I have seven ounces of pork loin here. And that's frozen. I had it in my freezer, so I just pulled it out of my freezer. I'll leave it frozen and just put it in my fridge that way. And then I had a little bit of mozzarella that actually I thought I had more because that's what I was going to be using for the lunches, but I only had a little bit. So I'm going to stick that in there. And then I also have a teaspoon of breadcrumbs. I'll stick that in there. And then that's it. My dinner kit for this week is done. And then in my fridge, I'll just set it like that. I won't put the meat inside the bag just in case it happens to open up. I usually just stick it in the bag like this now just for purposes of the picture at the end. So that's my one dinner kit this week, but like I said, if you want more detail on it, I'll put the link down below to how I do my DIY dinner kits, and you can check that out. And another great meal prep. This one I'm really looking forward to. I love when I have things that I haven't done before. So I've not done the smoothie packs before, and I've not done the pizza chicken, so I am very excited for this week. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. It's a journey.